and Concordia coming back to the Gangloff Center after a Tuesday night game against Minnesota State. Their final home weekend of the regular season, taking on the Upper Iowa Peacocks as they were a game up on Upper Iowa in the conference standings. Some halftime entertainment. Associate Athletic Director Brian Jamros, head football coach Ryan Williams getting pied in the face as part of a fundraiser for the athletic department. They were having a good time at halftime. Concordia was hoping it would be a good time on the court as well. Nooney Omot got it off to a flying start. Strong take to the basket. He was able to hit the layup, but Upper Iowa very good outside shooting. Bo Pagel, the corner three off a kick out. Keith Crockett was able to work his way into the lane, hit the basket in traffic. And it was Nooney Omot again getting to the plate as he had about 16 points in the opening 10 minutes. Upper Iowa, though, strong to the basket once again. It was Carson Parker off the bench on that drive. Getting to the hoop that time, Jordan Hay off the cut would get the two. Good outside shooting as well. Keith Crockett from the corner for the Golden Bears. And it was Jernell Hughes, though, who had five threes in the opening half, draining that one from the corner. Nooney Omot back to work, swooping finish with the left hand. And then hard work by Nooney inside, was able to get the basket and the foul off an offensive rebound. Cole Olstad quickly to the, buck, uh, to the cup, got the two there. Then late in the first half, Therese Van Pelt making himself small, able to hit the driving layup. Upper Iowa would close the first half on a run, though. Another corner three for Jernell Hughes, who had five in the opening half from beyond the arc. Upper Iowa led by 11. Quick jumper to open up the second period by Nooney Omot, but Upper Iowa would keep finding answers. Jared Gamble with that turnaround inside. Off the crossover, Cole Olstad able to draw contact, get the finish. But Upper Iowa continued to make their long-range jumpers. Bo Pagel off the kick out with a three. Jernell Hughes using the threat of his outside shooting to get to the basket, hit the floater. Concordia trying to fight their way back. Therese Van Pelt would finish there off the dribble. It was a big night for Keith Crockett, leading the way with 22 points at the strong finish for that two. Van Pelt given space on the perimeter, so able to drain the three. But Upper Iowa maintained the lead at around 10 points throughout most of the half. Jimmy Roth with the basket there. Another three, this one by Grant Lang, would help the cause. Concordia down by as many as 15 in the second half, would start the fight back. Cole Olstad, the transition layup. Keith Crockett working to the middle, fouled while making a three. Couldn't quite complete the four-point play, but still a big long-range jumper. Therese Van Pelt pulling up from the mid-range to make it a one-point game. He'd make it a two-point game in the final seconds with that three, but Upper Iowa making a few too many free throws, and they hang on for the win, 86-84. And Cordia will look to battle back with a win on their senior night tomorrow against Winona State.